try to uh try to moisturize my face while I'm like I have a full head of makeup. Yeah. Okay. Have to. Yeah. Yeah, you gotta yeah, you gotta really keep like w- once you're bald and you're you're you have a full head of makeup, you gotta keep yourself like maintained because it doesn't there's there's days where it fucking sucks. And I've I learned that lesson for the first week. The first week I fucking just didn't work out for me. Look at buddy, I was so inspired by your hairdo that I was like hey, Yeah, everyone everyone got expired inspired by the I'm I'm uh I'm flattered. I went to the barber and I was like, Give me the Lucio. <laughs> he knew exactly what I was talking about. Yeah, he's like, I know what you're doing. He's like, I, I I've seen that guy before. So uh he's been how, around. How you been, man? How how has adjusting into Carnival been for you? Uh well, it's um it, it's one of the most challenging things ever. You know, it's uh it's you, you gotta think where I've been I've been in the dark for like, and I'm talking about like being in character in a dark area in fog for like eight years, um, nine, if you want to put it with the pandemic and all that. But like, I, I, I've, it feels like it's a challenge and it was, um, it was a good way of a challenge because, um, you kind of like, when you go to a different zone, you're, you're in a um you start from scratch you start from like a new name new character you start from like the beginning like how you were as a rookie and um that 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 feels like i i've um that's how i got there and that's how i i started and i just said okay well i good thing i already have this character in mind beginning and I, it was just now put in the test and, uh, um, the first week I should say, I be honest, actually my, my scare, the scare school was the most challenging of all of it was like, cause, cause you're, you're getting, um, it's not because like if people can say like how you're well we're we're not wearing makeup or we're not wearing our mask correctly we're not wearing full color we're not in like full character yet right. um i guess are you we're not uh we're not fully ready with a good we're we're not there we're interacting with a crowd we're interacting with our with the higher ups or whatever you know that that uh knows us and um um it, it, it that could that's partially true and uh, for me it was to uh to reveal like what i got what i've been wanting to what i've been like kind of teasing about and what i've been kind of pitching towards towards the, the you know towards knots and towards um everybody else that been wanting that were so uh curious of what i'm doing and um it was it in a way it was challenged it was it was very challenging it was nerve it was like because like i um i couldn't do what like how i i couldn't do how i was in ghost town like you gotta look at ghost town where i was this um schizophrenic asylum patient this maniac and go anywhere say a lot like mumble you know and like move around his body so quick and it has a lot of endurance the, and which i which the endurance i took a lot from you know from carnival and the i think the fact that like all that had to be taken back and added to like i had to do like a carny creepy character was like when i stepped in i i i bombed i was just like like i said i told you in the beginning like how i i started from scratch i started from like how i i I started like a rookie and a a rookie mentality i started from the beginning and i knew i was gonna bomb in the beginning i was like and and it was overwhelming 
I was already, I went to, I remember going up to Josh, the, uh, one of the higher ups and actually was a former cast lead in Carnival. And I went up to him after, you know, scare school. And I said, um, Hey, how did I do? <laughs> I was like, how did I do? He goes, I'll let you know later. I was like, <laughs> Like, I just want to know, man. I'm like, yeah, like, but like the same time, it was kind of a, it was kind of a vague question because like, you're already starting. And I'm like, why would you ask him already? How are you doing? Because that's how overwhelming I was, uh, overwhelming and, and nervous I was in the beginning. Like, I was like, I'm worried. Like, I, when we went, we did this whole, uh, you know, this, there, there's a, there's a uh, exercise that they did in scare school. It's called soul train. So, you know, like how soul train, you know, like everyone's in uh, on the side of the lines and right. everyone comes up and dance. Same thing. Get, uh, but each one comes in and does their character and scares them, you know, and I did mine and was, I fucking bombed. I fucking sucked. And and anyone could go out there and be like, oh yeah, you did cool, man. You did great. No, man, I fucking sucked. It was bad. Like I I hundred hundred percent believe that. Let me tell you from what I've seen, because remember, I got to go on employee preview night, and that was basically your first yeah. rehearsal in front of like an audience. You know what mm-hmm. I mean? Per se guests. And um let me tell you what I saw from that night to two days later opening night that first night you came out like you had the 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 creepiness of the of the clown and and whatnot and you were kind of rolling with it for a little bit but um the thing that 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 really sold me out that that was you was the walk and yeah because it was it was a hostile walk and i knew i noticed real quick that that same weekend you dropped the walk and kind of started loosening up with it a little bit more and then kind of there were some yeah. aspects that you took from Ghost Town into Carnival that I really liked, and and part of that was, of course, the way you scare. You still that kind of kept you kind of kept that similar, but yeah, in, in the sense of it, it felt more more energetic and and and, and, a, and like a different tone where it wasn't like a like a madman yelling at you, more like of a clown trying to get your attention, which I really liked. yeah, I I think that that's that's a uh, about hundred percent right. It's like you. I wanted the the endurance and the energy to be a, more higher than versus what a maniac can go at and me and Ghost Town. I can do all that and I could like go back and forth and scare just like how you said it. But like in in like Carnival, it was just a lot different. Like I I really did have to like I I was like it, it was uh, you're 100 percent right when I told you when I was in in that hostile position i i had to stop and go like oh shit i'm not even that i'm not that person anymore like i'm not you know i'm this whole different like character you have to stop like i have to get off like it's guy it's like getting off a habit right it's like getting off a habit of a new character you have to get off this habit of a new character you have to change a new look you have to change a new style change a new walk and i um i learned to do that a little uh more and more and then once it just um i used like it started to like get comfortable in the first weekend it surprisingly was the first weekend i was ex- it felt like i was i i i felt natural to me to go in and i was like i'm good i i'm like okay cool at least i like, like i got it at least um and, and you know like that's not 100 you know not 100 percent right maybe but like i i'm still because i'm still learning right from it i'm sort of learning a lot from it and it's um and i and but like i i feel like the way i i got off the habit of like being the house you know the ghost town character and then coming over here being this carny creepy character is what i was looking for i wanted to look like this this carny like insanity character to look at to n- no one wants to get attention i mean i'm trying to get attention from people but like no one wants to look at me right because i'm like i'm smiling and i'm standing there and i have this like full like full head of not even like half <laughs> like full head of makeup yeah on me 
and it's um and i'm wearing a fuck and like the fact that like we'll go up to him and go like oh shit dude he's wearing a fucking suit like holy shit he's actually looks you know he's not wearing like a clown like he's i mean he's wearing like it, it's like kind of like a clown like blazer and everything but right. it looks a lot different and um i wanted to i was wanting to be to and my my every goal was in, in you know in knots was to be to go outside the box right and not to look like the same as everyone else and and have a different bit as far as from everyone else and um i tried that i tried that so many times i tried and i and i think once like what was in the first weekend i mean like i said it was just it was natural for me and um i i i feel like i was like okay i think i i got this i got it and i think i know where i'm going from there and i need to keep on pushing and um yeah it's um i gotta say it's a it's a very it's a very uh challenging character that i i do and because like it's um and i'm still learning the the background of it and then the not only that like i have to learn from like the zone and how like what they do how they how um how the story goes and keeping that in line and um also like with like interacting with characters like i've never interacted with anyone like uh, that much except with like obviously with that, Mer that merrick the next thing i was gonna ask was um mm -hmm. You know, going into Ghost Town, you yeah, you were right. You only interacted with a handful of people. You'd have some here and there. People would kind of interact around you, yeah, and whatnot. Uh, going into Carnival, uh, for one, the, the this is gonna be a couple parts. But for the first part of this question, was it uh, different because did you know a lot of people going into Carnival, or did you like not know and you're you're meeting them for the first time? Um, did it just feel kind of weird to to finally flip the the light switch on and kind of be there? and uh what was the toughest part about trying to do more um now? well the first one because that's a lot of questions to, to spread apart um the first one really is i um and and then uh, to to like to think like the the gracious of like what we have is which is podcasting before we even started this is that i brought in people that i knew from carnival thread um jasper um you, you know there's there's a bunch there was a bunch of people that, that were in the area that makes a lot of sense now why those episodes are kind of like similar now. yeah because i i've wanted to learn what not only from like their side of like their experience but like what their character was and because I thought they were interesting, these are interesting people to to go around to run with, and uh, maybe one day. And uh, it, and and you know, like I I've felt, you know, like over the years, like I've been a, I think I've I think I've been a, around those around Carnival after like during back in the day. So like I felt kind of comfortable towards some people some those individuals especially from last year it wasn't it it, it felt so natural for me right and it, like i don't know why i, I i'm still that part of me still figures that out and i'm like how that came so natural for me to go in and be friends with everybody and i'll or, or go in and all of a sudden like uh be friends with a guy named booster like I, I was like I'm like a friend with him, and I, I, you know, like or go in and like, and um, I'm cool with like I was I think I was cool with them on social media, and I think that's like a good thing. It's like we we were communicating beforehand, and we were very close to that. And I think the you know other events like the barbecue was going on, and I think we connected there too, and like it just felt um just so natural to go in and be friends with them and not only that to like be like you can joke with them right. and it's like you it like I, I like we we were i've i've never been around it i think i've 
that was the only thing I was worrying about. It's like having fun around, like with, with around them. And, um, and I'm not going to like, not just start like, you know, backlashing or, or like any like problems or anything, but like, it's kind of a true fact when I was around the time when I was around a zone where everyone was around a group and, and then those groups didn't seem to like very, be very comfortable with each other when they were there. And it's a true fact. Cause like when they, when people watch this, like that's, it's, it's true. It's a, it, like, I go around. That's why I went around every single part when I was in that zone back then to sit around and I wanted to talk to those people. And when I sit around, it's just like, it's a different vibe. We break, we collide two different groups together. Right. But when it, when you go and when I went inside, like here, it's, it's all united. Like no one's, no one fucking hates each other. And like, everyone loves each other. Everyone's respected. Like everyone feels like one, like, like, God, like I can go to each and I went to each and every in, individual spot like that. They, they sat in the break room. I talked to them just like how I did over there. And sometimes I do. And, uh, you know, back when I was, you know, in ghost town, but it felt like it felt like it was so comfortable to talk to people around there and joke with like be funny around them, joke with them. Like I never thought like to stay, like I said, like I never thought to this day where I thought. I was going to be good friends with like booster and I would fuck with him. Like he was like, I can, I joke with that guy. You know, he knows that like we, we mess around, we hate each other. It's same thing with Paul. Like I fucking never knew I was going to tell like Paul, like, yo, I fucking hate you, Paul, like from across. And then, but like joke around with that and like, and then make it out of like a, all of a sudden, like a civil war bit. Like we just like, which we're trying to work on, but like, and it's, those kind of things and um and uh and also i kind of left out with the whole podcast part like i, I left out cheyenne like cheyenne because i sit next to her and i i feel like that was kind of natural too because like i i've i've you know i worked with her in ghost town back in the day so like it was it was totally natural for me to speak with her and then speak with all the rest of our her group it was um it just felt so like welcoming and um that was the best of it it was just like interacting with like in it being united because i never felt like that was around that i mean yeah we were united but like everyone like in you know everyone's united and in, right. in a spot but like everyone seemed to be in groups and not to get too deep in that but like you know, like it felt like it felt like you know, like we we can we can be cool to talk to each other, and like I, I am with like agree to like a bit, like a like a gag, like let's do something, let's do something out there, or um or let's run together. Cool, let me run with you. Let me do that. Cool, we can do that. I mean, um, can you can you be fast? Maybe. Cool. If you don't, good. <laughs> then and uh, if you if you do, great. Then if you don't, you know is what it is but like um yeah like it, it felt it, it's a uh, it, it it just feels like um very comfortable um to be there it, it felt like i was just it, 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 it like i told you it felt weird just to, to see that right and um to, i mean to be around that and uh but in a good way um i guess your second question was um sorry how was your second question oh what was it like i mean you kind of went into detail with it earlier in the show but like flipping the switch on and the lights from being in the dark and now in the light like did that, did yeah. that create like a, a big challenge that you had to you eventually overcome? because i see you out there now and it's pretty it looks pretty natural yeah um well one um i wasn't wearing a blindfold yeah <laughs> so, so you had full vision, i'm not though. full vision um the other was I was more cautious of where I was going um, to add with a blindfold, I guess you can say. But like I, I was still going fast regardless with the whole blindfold. You know, like I was. Um, I felt more faster to going around certain spots and um, be more. um 
with the scares, like jumping, to, like I never, I never felt like I was doing more leaps to like scare and back and forth, like a freaking rabbit back and forth. Like I was I bouncing said. around and I, I was like, I never felt like I would do that before, but like, that's a new thing. Like it was, it felt, um, it felt great to like do that. Like that was, uh, that was another challenging thing. And then, um, I don't know, like you're, you're, you're in an area now too, where it's, um, you're more, you have to be more cautious right. too. Cause we're in an area where, uh, I mean, it, it, it's, it's, uh, there, there's going to be people with more people with cameras, more people with, um, uh, people are going to be more aggressive. Uh, I think I, the guests were uh, like, that's the challenging. I, and I knew that from the beginning. It, and when I, especially when I first got to see Carnival, how it was, you know, as a guest perspective, right? Is that the 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 the, cha- the guests were more challenging to, um, you know, as far as being like physically, verbally um, aggressive, um, you know, though they they were, they, and then that, I think, um, and then those things you had to you have to find an alternative way to like be in character respectfully to like get out of that, that area. Right. Um, now me, <laughs> now my character, I've as, as far as being a split personality, um, thankfully I've had a character where I can tell people, you know, I can banter at people. Um, and, I honestly thought, to be honest with you, I thought that was going to be off the list once they like manager found out or my cast lead was going to be like, yeah, man, you can't do that, that Boston character no more. <laughs> and, um, and I, I've, I've had a very, I was felt very fortunate to have a character where I can go banter at people and, you know, and if they were going to be verbally mean at me. And I and if it, and and it felt very it felt very nice to like have something like that pro- that kind of protection for yourself, but um, but also it felt like there was you know like I I, I felt like also I can I was trying to protect others around too like us we have a we have a quite a few rookies um that were around especially that were in a news like especially in coming from maze to zone. And they, um, you know, like they, they didn't know how to interact with a guest when it's in, you know, when you're streets yeah. and, uh, you know, it's a new, it's a different scenario. So I've, you know, like those kind of people, you just had to like, kind of give them the guidance or kind of protect too. Cause they're, you know, how they could be fragile. Okay. They, the, the size of them could be. And then they, cause they, the guests can no matter what mess with those be mess with those type of people yeah. and then just, you know, start attacking them. But like, um, that, that's where I feel like I, I was trying, like I, I did that part too. And, um, there, there was uh, overall like to, for the, just going underneath the lights and to, I mean, to dark to light it, um, I don't know. Like I felt it, it felt so like natural for me to go over there. And I wish I knew really, I wish I knew why I think I felt, you know, I felt like I was very fortunate to have areas in ghost town yeah, where it was like naturally to like go and s- there was light. Right. Like, you go in birdcage theater. There was like, uh ex a ghost rider spurs um light over there calico trail calico square sorry right was there was had light there was light over there uh, so we had i would say there was light around there but it wasn't as bright as like you know how carnival is and um that was uh it but that didn't that didn't seem to phase me. That didn't seem to be challenging for me at all. 
Like it just was like, that was not going to take away anything. And I, I think I can guess, like I can, I can understand why for some people though, it, it was, it's challenging. Cause like you're exposed, you're exposed into, a to five different spotlights right. around you. And then there's when it's a it ghost town, there's only like two, but really they're like, they feel like five, but like there's two bright lights right in front of you. But like, it, it, you know, like the, those things, like I, I've, it didn't seem to like fool me. And I, I was like, this is not going to like, you know, I'm still going to be the character who I am and I'm still going to scare you. And I'm just going to, but there, but I knew, I knew that from the start and I knew to uh, find a way, alternative way to go. Okay. If I'm in this, am I, if I'm exposed, if I'm in character, which uh, Maddie gave a very good advice when she was on my podcast, she goes, you have to be, um, when you rest, you stay in character. When you're, um, when you need a rest, you need to stay in character. When you need to, uh, when you're trying to hide, you can't hide, but you can stand there and stay in character, which a lot of it was, um, and I might be butchering about that, by the way. So sorry, Maddie, but like that part, but there was part, but that, that part where like, it really kind of made sense for me so that's you can see reason why i stand there a lot and i look just i smile and i stare at people i stare at the next victim i stare at the next person who i'm gonna scare you know scare next um i try to work but you know it's it's not it's um it's it it, it was new to me and it's still challenging because like sometimes I look at videos, I sometimes look at pictures and I'm like, my body language looks weird right. and I have to go like, oh shit. So I have to like re relax my shoulders and just stand, like stand there, move with work with my hands or something. And then, but the, but the facial expressions are it's still, it's, it's there. It's not going to, that, that, that's working. I just need to work with the lower area, which is my shoulders relaxing and all that. Those are things I just were, were challenging for me to like do. And, um, uh, yeah. Then like, also, you know, like it's just the, the, the walk to like, I walking as a clown was like different. Like I wasn't trying to, um, I couldn't be so no walk so normal. I had to walk like as a, as a clown and i try to find ways of doing that but that it's that was a little hard but i've um i, I did my best at it you know you know um what was your third question sorry i keep on forgetting your third question before we go to that third question i want to take a i want to take the audience on a quick little trip down memory lane right now um you're about to see a couple clips of lucio doing his thing in carnival um and it's a lot of fun does a lot of out there <laughs> things but I, I hope you enjoy a few clips that we caught him doing so check that out real quick <laughs> I think the third question I had for you was, um, I don't even remember anymore. 
Wow. We both forgot. Wow. I forgot, man. But I mean, it seems but, like it, it seems like you're having a really good time. You know, you 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 went into great yeah. amount of detail on explaining what the process was, and that's exactly what I wanted to hear. Like what the process was, like transferring over another character to Carnival and starting pretty much from the ground up again. Like you said, you felt like that rookie. You felt like that like kind of outcast. But then you 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 seem to fit right in and everyone, you know, got along with you and everyone loves to work with you. I hear a lot of great things about you out there, you know, yeah. so it, it's really cool to see you in a whole new environment and in a whole new kind of setting to that. That's something that you're not used to. I mean, I mean, we, we've talked to you a bunch of times. We first, you know, talked to you in 2019. We talked about that. Um, then we, we, you know, we've continued to talk to you over the years and, and whatnot. And, and to, to see, where you are right now, a whole new chapter of your life with, with haunt and whatnot. Um, it, it's really cool to see you kind of get out there and just, and just do your thing and, 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 you know, kind of yeah. make everyone feel uncomfortable, which is, you know, ultimately the end goal, because like, you know, you want to make people feel uncomfortable, especially when they, when you're smiling at them, you're like, <laughs> you want people to go like, I don't think I want to walk anywhere closer. Near yeah. I, I wanted, I wanted kind of that, that kind of that the vision anyways and um to wonder to have people look and go like well why was he just smiling at me all of a sudden and then all of a sudden when it when hang time just gets through he acts like a fucking child like i don't know what it, like it that's confusing and like someone just told me like that's confusing and it's scary because yeah. like because yeah and it's kind of the point it's like why is he just doing that just all of a sudden or why is he just turning to this like boston character you know like he's he has a boston accent and he he thinks he owns the carnival or, or whatever and or he or he walks like a woman or he stand, poses like a woman i'm like what what like what what the like it's confusing and it's scary like that's why that i i i love to have those like i love those inter you know those kind of uh reactions what would you guess. say uh, the uh, the biggest inspiration was for the split personalities? Um, well, obviously I got it from Split. That was we can get that out of the way. Um, I, I um, you know, I've uh, I've always wanted to do like a different disorder kind of like character. I did a schizophrenic character, and um, I was like, what can I just fit in with like Carnival? that's kind of freak show type and um can be like a carny and i said thought about like split and i was like oh yeah that can work and um and a part that was there you know a lot of that and then i, I got it from like primal fear where um i don't know if you've seen primal fear with uh richard gear and uh edward norton right and edward norton um i kind of explained to him in my podcast a while back but he plays a guy named aaron and roy so they're two different characters um aaron's the, i think aaron's the one that's the innocent one because he's like it's about like a richard gear is like a lawyer and he uh, has a case with that's aaron norton's case aaron norton's character which is aaron and he like murdered his wife i believe in the whole story and um uh, he's ever he feels innocent so that's why aaron's like saying like well i'm innocent i'm innocent but like they know that he has like a disorder and they don't know like what's going on what it is right and then all of a sudden like there's a scene with him in the um in the private room in the investigation room where they're just like you know they're negotiating they're talking with the uh, rich gear and uh Edward norton's character aaron like Aaron's character just changes and he turns to Roy and he looks evil. He looks, he looks just creepy as fuck. Right. And he has a smile and he just says, and he admits like how he killed the woman, which is his wife. And he like says like how he did it. He like admits why and all that. And, um, it's throughout the whole movie and it's, it's freaking weird. It's, uh, it's that there, that whole scene is, uh, crazy and that kind of, got me to wanting to do that too that was kind of part too of like how i did the ghost town character right. as well it was just like a little bit changed because i did i did change like a little bit of the personality of oh there sometimes not, not a lot but this one was kind of total split personality i i wanted to i was like okay well if 
if I can name up to like maybe 10 characters, what can I do? And um, it's a funny story because I was, um, it was when I got into like, you know, I got the part and I got into like the group chat of like Carnival. And I um, th- then Maddie uh, posted about like, hey, post about your characters and po- post in detail, like, or what's the name of it? What's the age? And uh, what's the, what are you there to like, what's your purpose there? And what's your backstory? I had like kind of a backstory a little bit in mine. And I just haven't had the names involved. Right. And I remember waking up like, that morning, like at nine and ten in the morning, and I was like, "Oh yeah," because I have to write that. Uh, well, I wanted to write that. Right. It was like a it's not a non mandatory thing, but like he, I wanted to write it, and I name up up the spots like instantly. I name up like up to like t- like ten characters, like ten, 15, twelve different characters. I name, I cut out two. I, I was like, okay, I gotta keep ten. I want to keep ten. I gotta keep cut two. So I cut two of those characters, put them all in there. I was like, okay, this is the characters' names. Um, two of them are like the kind of the main characters, and then the rest of them are like just all like the different personalities that the main character has known in the past, and then um then uh the, i i just like kept on like naming on the spot like the name the age um it was and then people were like what the fuck is like a name called like pin triple and i named pin triple on that spot which is the child's name uh like i named it like i was like what would be a very stupid name like what would be a name for a stupid child <laughs> that acts dumb and looks like looks just too hyper of a like doofus of a kid i was like oh it looks like it's pin triple and and then he feels very he has pride of calling his name called pin triple <laughs> and um i named that on the spot like it was just like out of the blue and um you know and i've the one i mean only thing a uh, main one i wanted to put in was like jahan's character well i put jahan but like I put Jahan in there and I act like Adam. I was like, cool. I got Adam in there. I got those two. And then it just kind of built up from there. And I I wanted to put a woman in there. I was like, what would be a great woman's name? And that sounds like a bitch. And I was like, okay, Barbara sounds like a name. Sounds like a bitch. And <laughs> sounds uh very um, but like kind of wants the attention and all that. So yeah, it was um th- that that kind of part was like, you know is challenge yeah that was like the challenge part but it was cool just to do all that but um i digress where was i going from there it was it was i mean it was really cool to see and and whatnot and and it was a lot of fun to to be a part of and it was just cool to see a new chapter in your hawk mm-hmm. career that i was you know i got to be a witness to and and whatnot and you know to see yeah. you to see you kind of now being carnival is cool now um where you'll end up in the in the fiftieth? Who knows? I mean, you might. You do, what, do you know what you're gonna do? You're gonna come back. To yeah, I, I've uh, I've thought about you know, like I was gonna add to all this too is that like it, it's so fucking crazy how and overwhelming in such a good way where you I did not know where this was gonna go with this whole character. It was gonna fail, and the manager was like management would go like uh well it's whatever um i did not know where it was gonna take off the first weekend i had manager come up to me and wanted like marketing pictures right and i was like what the fuck like you want marketing pictures from me like this guy and then you want you want like a whole bunch of stuff you want to know about like you want a spreadsheet about my character you want to know about that like you want to know um they 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 wanted you know you they want me part of like a event like i just did that whole podcast with event with uh uh ryan bagara like i did that like i was selected i was they they were put me they put me on the uh what would be the best way what scott said was they put me on radar 
they put yeah. me on there like you're on like scott went up to me and goes like did you realize you're on fucking you're on radar on a good way i was like i i did not know that because it's funny how like i worked this ghost town character for five years and it's got intention over the five like started from the fifth year like my five years doing that right i'm like cool like i get like it started to build up from like 2019 at least or 2017 was kind of cool like was there but like it but build up more like in 2019 but um like all of a sudden now was this character in carnival the first week the second week was like they like i got attention out of it i got like people were like what the like dude i did not know this was gonna happen and you're you're fucking killing it you're doing your it looks fucking creepy it looks good like i love it i love this whole look and you're so natural to it um and it's it's so overwhelming in a way where i'm like i don't know i don't know how i i don't know how i did it i mean i i i just followed this i i followed what how i had like what i have i have had what i whatever i had over the eight years i put in to a new spot i wanted to challenge myself to to work to do something different whether it's gonna succeed or fail right and um i think uh i i and i in a uh, management just loves the fact that i'm doing that and i've which i appreciate them very much it's like it's just it's so overwhelming see but um you know i i i love it i i like it's it's a it's a great time it's it's good it's great to to see that but um you know like i i'm i'm loving for the fact that i'm i'm doing i'm doing something good out of it and it's not just like confusing and going like well well i don't really get what you're doing i don't get what you're trying to apply here with this character um which has happened to part of me before in my in my ghost sound character yeah and i was like oh shit i have to like add i had to add like a backstory i had to add like a different like i have to make it make sense right to the 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 zone and just like how i did in carnival i had to add to make sure it makes sense to the zone um which is like the character background is still work like i'm st- I, I still work on that and i still want to you know do which is part of to answer your question is part of why maybe i want to stay for another year and um because i feel that much comfortable to come back but at the same time with uh ooh, with the 50th coming up and how much I love ghost town and um people like go people on ghost town are just like dude I would love to come back because like we already you know people there's some people that miss me out there they just you know it's and I I, I would love to go back over there that's it's such a it's such an indecisive like moment like it's such an indecisive uh decision right. and because like you're you, you're in you're you gotta pick like the top two zones which right. is like the top two biggest zones ever that you gotta that you, what you succeed at very much you succeeded at both and which one do you think you feel like you can do more so um which one do you think you can uh you know which one's going to be the best the, to come back and which one's going to be right to feel for the 50th and um you know it's such on it's such an unknown like um answer but um you know we gotta still finish out this whole week too yeah. we got we got this whole first weekend and i'm I, i'm trying i'm you know i never um try to build up the whole i never build up like uh tried to like hype up a team before and i've you know i i i've i i've done that with the with carnival and it's 
you know, and we we hype each other up. Obviously, I'm not the only one. Right. We hype each other up to like get it working because you know it, it's um to 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 win a gold not to I mean to win a golden Holland award of course, but also to be the zone to be talked about. Cause we are, we, I mean, we, we be, be it's, if you got, if you think of it throughout the whole season, it is between, um, you know, boardwalk and going twenties and no offense to the rest of the zones. Cause they did really great. But the, a lot of people I've, from what I've spoke to monsters about from other zones, they, they're, they go like, well, I would love to go to carnival or I love to go to quarrying. So I love that area. You know, like those are those are areas that are so fun to watch. Yeah, you know, like, I mean, it, it, and I can it, you can you and uh, maybe I'm wrong, maybe I'm wrong at that, or maybe uh, I'm I'm right, but who knows? Everyone has a different perspective. I mean, listen, dude, I've I've enjoyed watching you all season. Um, mm -hmm. I I enjoy I always enjoy talking to you, man. It's always a good time. It's always a pleasure. Mm -hmm. Um, pleasure we're gonna we're gonna definitely do a part two to this only because it is getting late and i and this is the part where i say i feel like an adult and i feel old i'm literally spacing out but i'm listening to everything that he was saying and <laughs> story, but... no i am too i gotta space out. i'll give you a better perspective later and give you a better answers because like i'm trying to think of them on the top of my head as well but yeah we'll make another part two for this Maybe we'll and just, um we'll just do it on lc3 man LS3. yeah lc3 yeah man do the ls3 yeah, yeah I'm, I'm coming back with it man i'm coming back with uh um i have one coming up but he's not in haunt but like he's he was in haunt last season and uh we're gonna have him come back and yeah so we're, we're trying to work something out it's gonna be good, we don't know man. it'll be but, good so uh, no yeah i i've enjoyed watching the season and it's been a pleasure and and, and i can't wait to see you close it out this week but Yes. Uh, thank you so much for coming on another season of Scary Appreciation Month. We highly appreciate that, man. It means the world to us. Anytime. Thank you, man. You're always welcome to come into mine, too. Hey, so. that's what she said. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> if you guys are new to the channel, hit that subscribe button with that bell notification. Be aware every time we put up a new video, follow us on all of our social medias Instagram at The Knights of Horror, Twitter at Knights of Horror, and TikTok at The Knights of Horror. Um, and check out Lucio at Carnival. You know, I don't know where you'll see him next year, but just be aware because he'll be somewhere. Uh, you got social medias. Do you want to plug in so people can can keep up with you? Yeah. Um, well, I have my link tree. So it's the if you guys don't know what link tree is, uh, L I N K dot T R dot slash L S three podcasts. Um, all my former episodes are there. Um, the last one I did with Aaron Frame. Um, that was a really good one yeah, uh, before the season started. Yeah. Um, all my, uh, my obviously, that's going to be on my social on Instagram, R-U-F-F-E-O-4. Um, it's on there. Go watch. Uh, go and go watch me um, see, see all my carnival pictures and all my fitness and all my podcasts. <laughs> hey, man, the three best combinations right there. Am I right? Yeah. Yep, that's uh, right. <laughs> so, with all that being said, we hope you guys had a great time listening to Lucio's experience over at Carnival. We cannot wait to see what happens with you next, and we can't wait for you guys to see what happens tomorrow on the podcast because we know that we've got another Carnival takeover tomorrow. So, stay tuned for that. With all that being said, I'm your host Anthony. You just watched the Miles Horror Podcast presents Character Appreciation Month 2022, and we'll see you guys tomorrow. Mm.